Good afternoon. Um, as you can see, I've done a Costco shop, which I have not done for a month, and I was umming and ahhing as to whether to go today, and I decided to. So it's done now, but I'm very, very tired. Okay. Um, so I have tried to organise it a little bit neatly, but that's difficult. It's quite a big shop. Um, I spent more than I planned, to be honest, but <laughs> that tends to happen when you go to Costco. And I've got some things, um, some non-food items, non-grocery items. So it's very difficult to hold this up, but this is sort of like um, a casual sort of shirt for my husband. Um, it's got black. It's got blue, a couple of different shades of blue, and it's a fitted style, so um, it should be quite nice. That was twenty six dollars, I think. Okay, and then oops, they've fallen. My almost seven year old son, James, um, is short on pajamas, so I got these Oshkosh, Bagosh um, pajamas that have flannelette pants and then just the regular cotton sort of um, top and they were $9.99 or something which was quite a good price I thought so I got those and then my eldest son Jack um, is in high school and needed a couple of winter like long sleeve shirts um, just white now obviously i can buy them from the school uniform shop but the short sleeve shirts that he's got are not very good quality i don't think they're the school ones with the school logo and all that sort of thing and the long sleeve ones you get don't even have the school logo anyway because they wear the jumper in winter but the collar on the ones the school brand ones that i got him it's sort of like it's not, i don't know it might be the fact that i put it in the washing machine and in the dryer and don't do anything special with it but, you know, clothes have to be able to deal with a washing machine and a dryer or a line or where, however I want to wash them around here. That's just how it goes. So I thought I'd get the Costco brand white shirts because I get them for my husband and they're really good quality. So hopefully that's the right size for him. I mean, these are a, a very small men's size and he's 13 years old. He's now taller than me, so they should fit. And then he also needed some sort of singlets. These are just sort of white t-shirts, but I thought they'll go under his shirts because he has to wear a tie, so you're not gonna see any of this. Just for extra warmth. A, pack of, a four pack, that was a four pack for um, under $15. So That's quite good. What's wrong? Oh, you want another one, okay. Okay, so now that I've shown you the clothes that I purchased, down here, um, there's a big thing of the toilet paper. Now, these bread rolls, they're like Turkish rolls. It's a huge amount. I've said this before, I'm sure. I think you get a dozen. Yeah, you do. But they're really big, and that is really very heavy. I'd say it's a couple of kilo. And um, it's $5 something. So I got two packs, because I'm going to, we'll use one this week, and then I'll put another one in the freezer. Um, now, my husband loves these, so I got these for him, um, the Kirkland crisps. I don't, I don't care for them, but he loves them, um, and they're a very good price for the amount you get, $7 something. And then this is also a great price, $7 something for the Mission Tortilla uh, chips, and we will use those. Um, probably with like a taco soup and with something else and then also to snack on and so it's just a huge bag and a good price and then I got cheesels just to have in the back of the cupboard for when we have company and want to put out something fun and they're a great price a huge pack of cheesels for four dollars something all right now we'll start with the frozen and cold things so I didn't know whether I was going to get pizza for tonight 
but I ended up getting it because I thought if I don't I'm going to regret it because I'm very busy and very tired so I got um, a chicken and chorizo a meat lovers and a um, cheese so there for tonight my son's very happy he's homesick from school rather under the weather so that'll be nice okay um, I think I've got these in the past and I can't actually remember how much I liked them um, it's a pack of how many 12 sorry the lighting in here is not very good it's very um, very cloudy outside today um, so I thought even if other people don't really want them they'd be good to have in the they'd be good to have in the freezer in case I um, you know don't know what to have for lunch or whatever I can pull one of those out and just cook them individually for myself because they have um, quinoa and kale and carrot, carrot, sunflower seeds and chia seeds so I like lots of the stuff okay the blueberries now this is the Kirkland brand and I believe the blueberries I normally get from Costco are a different brand the Kirkland one was a tiny bit more expensive but also you get more it was 1.8 kilo as opposed to 1.5 kilo grown in the USA I don't know if that's supposed to be a good or a bad thing <laughs> it is what it is they're grown in the USA and it's a huge amount of blueberries and a good price $13 I think okay um streaky bacon always a good thing when your bacon's from America that's good stuff but there okay um I love these these are your um Chipolata pork sausages. Now I tend to just squeeze them out of the casing and do um, like a pork with um, with maple syrup and Dijon mustard and oh it's delicious. I've actually I've actually got the recipe on my channel, so you can check that out. Um, it's just one I made up and the family love it. And then I got a ham hock. We had peanut ham soup last night. So we'll probably have it in about a fortnight. So may as well have that in the fridge. Very, very cheap. You know, $5 something for your ham hock. And then Costco, I love to get their pork, um, corned beef silver side because it's a nice big one. And it's really hard to find an appropriately sized corned beef silver side for our family that allows maybe a bit of leftovers for lunch the next day. So happy with that. Then I got four dozen eggs because we're on to our last. We've got four eggs left in the fridge. So I got four dozen of the things. They're under $4 a dozen. We don't get really cheap eggs like you find in America. Um, but they're free range. They're good eggs. And um, they're a very, very good price for Australia. Okay. Butter. Always get this butter. Love it needed some butter um they didn't have the laughing um so we get happy cow not laughing cow i don't like laughing cow i like happy cow they didn't have this last time i've got a couple of those and then also we've got some orange juice haven't got haven't um purchased orange juice in a month because i have not been to costco in a month so that will be nice and then some gr huge thing of greek yogurt because that's pretty much what i eat um, now these frozen vegetables here are so good Italian style medley and you've got in there you've got your red capsicum and zucchini and yellow squash and beans and it is really nice they're really really fresh and it's a huge it is 1.8 kilos so almost two kilo and eight dollars something and I really love it I mean when you get those sorts of things fresh from you know the grocery the green grocer it's, you can't get a better price than that so it's great to be able to put them in the freezer and they're like so good quality so anywho i've got two of those I didn't, get, I didn't get much fresh fruit and vegetables today um costco is a bit hit and miss when it comes to that and i've said that before so i'm going to be purchasing the rest at aldi i'm going to be purchasing the rest of just everything that I need at LD um, but I got some a big thing of Brussels sprouts a kilo of them for five dollars something and I got a kilo of broccoli for three dollars something and I got 
350 grams of baby spinach for five dollars something i got one of these lovely sort of the sort of like honeydew but different <laughs> can't remember what they're called they that was under three dollars fifty big thing of the carrots and they're looking lovely today um that was about three dollars fifty the mushrooms were just under five dollars which is quite dear for costco but i just picked them up uh, about eleven dollars for all of those tomatoes and um and it's a kilo of, of um, cherry tomatoes, so that's quite a good price. The cheese that I love to get, much better quality than the one um, equivalent type sort of style that you get at Aldi, much better quality. And it's about somewhere between 11 and $13. Um, we're running low on chucks, so I've got a big thing of chucks. We tend to get probably one whole thing of these every three months. And I wash them and I wash them until they can't be washed anymore. Oh, really? You finished your banana? <laughs> um, and then I have not purchased, I have not purchased the Costco um, trash bags for a long time because I think I accidentally, I thought I needed more and so I got more and I already had like, I'd already thought that previously so I actually ended up with like triple the amount that I needed and I have not purchased these in seriously about 18 months um so because we and we're still getting through some but I think we're starting to run low and it's one of those things you don't want to run out of so I got those okay then these sorts of things um the the cling wrap was not on sale I don't think but it was a good price and we really needed these three things the foil and the baking paper were on sale. I want to say they were under $15 each, but for a massive amount, 120 meters of the baking paper, 150 meters of the foil. Oh, Bubba, really? Are you serious? He's laughing at me. The Passata sauce is a really, that is $6.99 or something for six bottles. So that's a great price. You don't even get prices like that at Aldi. And then um, some maple syrup. I said in my last um, LD haul video that I was running low on the Costco maple syrup, so I got that. Even though, I've... and I got a two pack of this pesto that I don't believe I've tried before. But each is 500 grams, so that's very good. My husband loves pesto pasta, so I'll get some parmesan to go with that from LD. I got some gnocchi. Um, which we used at one of these up the other night, so I've got one to replace it. I got, I've said in the past that how good this is. It's really, really nice. It's got like your flour on it. And then uh, the um, organic pasta, different shapes as well. Each has two packs of it, so um, that's $13, I think, but it's really, really good quality, really good. We were all out of best mayonnaise so don't know how that happened we don't go through it overly quickly but you know when you're out you definitely know you, you want it <laughs> um sweet baby rays i've got the hickory and brown sugar that's one they had and they also just had the buffalo wing one so that's, that's one i got and then um shoe care pack this is really cheap it's four dollars something and it comes with two and then the thing to buff them with i think so that's quite good because we've got People with school shoes and work shoes and that sort of thing. What else? Oh, I've got a couple more things over here. I got both um, crunchy and smooth peanut butters. And I got a huge thing of ranch dressing because we were just out. I don't know which haul it was that I got this in. Probably, probably a few Costco hauls ago, but we're all out. We really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. Uh, and then I got um, just a bottle of Chardonnay, which um i was mainly a red wine drinker but it, it has started to give me mine migraine so i'm trying to sort of switch over you know when we have people over to actually dealing with white wine but anyway i like champagne okay so that is my haul and it came to a grand total i think it was 599 dollars which is a lot but i did get some non-grocery items um 
you know, shirts, three sh business shirts, a pair of pajamas, and a packet of t-shirts. Um, and you know, thirty dollars over thirty dollars just on the pizzas for tonight. So all up quite good. And we got Master Jack looking after Master Isaac for a second for me. I don't know that you want to be on film though. You're not feeling well. You do? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a good big brother, aren't you, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Has Jack got you? Has Jack got you? Yes. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Now you got to learn to wave. You gonna say bye bye? Say thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Yay! You're blowing kisses. Mwah! Oh, or sucking your thumb. One or the other. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.